Hey stargazers! Imagine a celestial event so colossal it could cast shadows on Earth even during the day, sounds incredible, right? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the mysteries of Betelgeuse, a star in the Orion constellation that might be on the verge of a supernova explosion. This spectacular event could light up our night sky and reveal secrets about the universe we've never seen before. So, buckle up as we explore what's happening with Betelgeuse and how it might impact our solar system. Betelgeuse, located about 650 light-years away, is no ordinary star. As a red supergiant, it shines with a brightness over 100,000 times that of our Sun. But its significance goes beyond its luminosity. Named, Yad al jorza or, the Hand of Orion, Betelgeuse has captivated observers for centuries. Imagine a star so immense it could stretch all the way to Jupiter if it replaced our Sun. At around 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is relatively young compared to our 5 billion year old sun. However, its massive size means it burns through its fuel rapidly, predicting a shorter lifespan. As Betelgeuse nears the end of its life cycle, it's primed for a dramatic exit. A supernova explosion that could outshine entire galaxies and cast brilliant shadows across vast distances. The last supernova observed from Earth was Kepler's supernova in 1604, which was visible during the day and for over 18 months. Today, we still study its remnants to understand the life cycle of massive stars. Could Betelgeuse's impending supernova surpass even this historical event? Recently, Betelgeuse underwent a phenomenon known as the Great Dimming, where its brightness significantly dropped. While it later returned to normal, the star's brightness has recently surged by 50%, sparking intense speculation. Is Betelgeuse gearing up for its final act? One theory suggests that Betelgeuse might be like a cosmic volcano, ejecting vast amounts of its material into space. Such massive ejections could temporarily obscure its brightness, only to return with a dazzling display. This might be a precursor to its supernova, which could transform our night sky into a pseudo-day for weeks or even months. The potential supernova could also generate cosmic rays and gravitational waves. Cosmic rays might produce stunning auroras, but their impact on Earth's atmosphere would be minimal. However, the increased brightness could affect satellite operations and might require protective measures. Imagine if Betelgeuse's explosion triggered gravitational waves. These ripples in space-time could provide new insights into the mechanisms of supernovae and the nature of our universe. And before we even see the light, neutrinos, near-massless particles, might offer an early warning of the explosion. Finally, what happens to Betelgeuse after its supernova? This question leads us into one of the most intriguing and complex aspects of stellar evolution. The fate of Betelgeuse, like other massive stars, depends largely on the mass of its core after the supernova explosion. The remnants of this colossal event could either coalesce into a black hole or a neutron star, two of the most enigmatic objects in the universe. Understanding these potential outcomes not only provides insight into the final stages of a star's life but also sheds light on fundamental astrophysical processes. To fully grasp what happens post-supernova, it's crucial to understand the supernova itself. When a massive star like Betelgeuse exhausts its nuclear fuel, it undergoes a dramatic collapse. The core, no longer supported by nuclear reactions, implodes under its own gravity, leading to a catastrophic explosion. This explosion, known as a supernova, disperses the star's outer layers into space at incredible speeds, creating a dazzling display that can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. The supernova also disperses heavy elements, such as iron, nickel, and other metals, into the interstellar medium, enriching the cosmos with the building blocks for future stars and planetary systems. If Betelgeuse's core, after the supernova, is between approximately 1.4 and 2.16 times the mass of our Sun, it is likely to form a neutron star. Neutron stars are among the densest objects in the universe, second only to black holes. They are remnants of supernova explosions where the core's mass is insufficient to collapse into a black hole. A neutron star is incredibly compact, with a mass similar to that of the Sun but compressed into a sphere with a radius of just about 10 to 15 kilometers. This results in an extraordinary density. A sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star material would weigh around 100 million tons on Earth. The extreme gravitational pressure causes protons and electrons to merge into neutrons, creating a star composed almost entirely of neutrons. The intense gravity of a neutron star results in an incredibly strong magnetic field, often a trillion times stronger than Earth's. Additionally, neutron stars can rotate extremely rapidly, up to several hundred times per second. 
These rapidly spinning neutron stars are known as pulsars, emitting beams of electromagnetic radiation that sweep across space, which can be detected as regular pulses of radio waves, X-rays, or gamma rays. Pulsars are valuable tools for studying fundamental physics, as they provide insights into extreme states of matter and the behavior of gravity. On the other hand, if the core of Betelgeuse retains more than about 2.16 times the mass of the Sun, it will likely collapse into a black hole. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape from them. The core's mass is sufficient to overcome all other forces and continue collapsing indefinitely. A black hole's formation results from the core's gravitational collapse being so powerful that it forms a singularity, a point of infinite density. Surrounding this singularity is the event horizon, a boundary beyond which nothing can return. The event horizon is not a physical surface but rather a point of no return. Once an object crosses the event horizon, it inexorably moves toward the singularity. Black holes are classified by their mass, stellar mass black holes, which form from stellar collapses. Supermassive black holes, which reside at the centers of galaxies, and intermediate mass black holes, which are hypothesized to exist but remain elusive. A black hole formed from Betelgeuse would be a stellar mass black hole, significantly impacting its surrounding space by pulling in nearby matter and influencing the orbits of nearby stars and gas. Observing either a neutron star or a black hole from the remnants of Betelgeuse would be monumental for several reasons. The transition from a supernova to a neutron star or black hole provides a critical understanding of the final stages of stellar evolution. By studying these remnants, astronomers can refine models of how massive stars end their lives and contribute to the cosmic life cycle of matter. Neutron stars and black holes represent some of the most extreme conditions in the universe. Observing these objects can provide insights into fundamental physics, such as the behavior of matter under intense gravity and the nature of spacetime itself. For instance, studying neutron stars helps scientists understand the properties of nuclear matter and the effects of extreme magnetic fields, while black holes test the limits of general relativity and quantum mechanics. The formation of a black hole from Betelgeuse could produce gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by the acceleration of massive objects. These waves can be detected by observatories like LIGO and Virgo, offering a new way to observe cosmic events and validate predictions of general relativity. The merging of black holes or neutron stars also produces gravitational waves, which have already provided crucial evidence of these objects' existence and characteristics. The remnants of Betelgeuse, whether a neutron star or black hole, will continue to influence their surroundings. Neutron stars can have a significant impact on their environment through their intense magnetic fields and high rotation speeds, while black holes can affect the orbits of nearby stars and attract interstellar matter. Studying these effects helps astronomers understand the dynamics of galaxies and the formation of new stars and planetary systems. As we wait and watch, Betelgeuse reminds us of the vast, dynamic nature of the universe and our place within it. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to check out the video on your screen. You won't believe what we've discovered next. Keep looking up and stay curious.